So what's going on guys? I'm Kyrie with How Stuff Works and today we are at Tank Town, USA to learn how to drive a tank. Owner Todd Libros has six FV432s here that he bought from the British Army. Now anybody with a driver's license can pay to drive one of these bad boys around Tank Town's course. So you probably think driving a tank is hard, and you would be right. But for today's purposes, we're learning just the basics, and that would be how to give it gas and how to steer. And from what I'm told, it's pretty much like driving a car. It's just your front, your, your steering. So left and right, left and right. Then you got a big gas pedal. That's an engine shutdown. Don't want that one. So of course operating one of these FD-432s would be totally different in a military situation because that requires skill that we would not be needing today. These FV-432 armored personnel carriers were first used in the 1960s for transporting infantry. By the 80s, almost 2,500 were being used by the British Army. Today, most have been replaced with more modern equipment. Many are actually privately owned by military buffs like Todd. This FV-432 is solid steel and weighs 15 tons. It once supported a crew of two, usually a driver and commander or a gunner, but these were personnel carriers, so they could also hold 10 combat-ready troops in the rear. Armor plates protected the troops inside from small arms fire and artillery, but these tanks didn't have ports for those troops to fire back. Later though, FV-432s were equipped with mounted L7 general purpose machine guns. The power from this beast comes from a 240 horsepower Rolls-Royce K60 multi-fueled motor. It can reach top speeds of 32 miles per hour and can drive as far as 360 miles on diesel. But if driving a tank doesn't sound like your thing, you can also drive a tank and crush a car. There aren't too many places in the United States where you can drive a tank, you know, unless you're in the military. There's Texas, Minnesota, and in Vegas, where anything goes. So you can drive a tank there. And of course, here at Tank Town USA. But that's pretty much it. And tons of people come here to test their tank driving skills. Wow, that was so cool. I would have never thought that I would drive a tank in my life. It's not half as complicated as it looks. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit nervous, but I'm ready to do it again. <laughs> so until next time, I'm Kyrie. See you guys later.